Hi. In my earlier review of Owen's latest and greatest HDS 21102S 100MHz bandwidth handheld scope meter, some viewers alerted me of what seems to be an abnormality of this scope when operating in its fastest 2 nanoseconds per division time base. So in this short video, let's take a closer look to see what the deal is, as I promised I would investigate further. Now, I meant to do this video shortly after the review video, but got sidetracked. Well, better late than never, I guess. Now I'm measuring a 100 MHz 0 dBm signal from my HP 8642B. You can hear its humming in the background. As you can see, we're currently showing 100 MHz from the measurement of the built-in frequency counter on the oscilloscope. So we know that the signal is indeed 100 MHz. But if you count the graticals on the oscilloscope, you will see that indeed we're occupying 1, 2, 3, 4. We're occupying 4 divisions horizontally. As you can see that currently we're at 2 nanoseconds per division. So that means the cycle is 8 nanoseconds, which translates into 125 megahertz. Obviously, that is not correct. To investigate a little bit further, let's uh, use the cursor measurement tool to get another reading. So let me enable cursor. Channel 1. Let's uh, do measurement range. Cursor. Type. Let's do time. Let's change the cursor a little bit. We move the cursor A. And let's uh, get the cursor reading on the screen as well. So you can see that now AB between these two cursor lines were reading 10 nanoseconds. You can see that. If I change the location of the cursor A, you will see this number changes. So clearly from this reading, we know that also the signal is a 100 megahertz signal as well. Now let me change the horizontal to 5 nanoseconds per division so we can see whether or not we are measuring it correctly in other time base. And you can see that every waveform occupies two divisions and let's just, uh, for good measure, let's uh, use the cursor again so that we can see whether or not we are measuring it correctly. So let's see here. For A, let's change to here. And let's move B a little bit. And you can see, indeed, the time difference between A and B is 10 nanoseconds, which translates into 100 megahertz as well. So I think this is more or less an inconvenient but somewhat glaring firmware bug. Besides that, the oscilloscope is operating correctly. I also played around with other horizontal settings and it appears that the 2 nanoseconds per division is the only one has this issue. I'm sure this would be a rather simple software fix as all O1 needs to do is adjust the spacing of the graticals to make sure each division represents 2 nanoseconds. Hopefully O1 can release a software update soon to fix this issue. In the meantime though, just remember that the 2 nanoseconds per division setting is actually 2.5 nanoseconds per division. I hope this clarifies things a bit. If you have any other questions, please leave a comment below. As always, don't forget to like the video and remember to subscribe to the channel. I will catch up with you next time.